Do you ever feel like your emotions are steering the ship of your life? That every wave of anger, fear or sadness threatens to capsize your rationality? Well, my friend, you're not alone. But what if I told you there's an ancient secret, a timeless philosophy, that can transform your emotional tempest into a calm sea of clarity? Why should you stick around? Because in the next few minutes, you'll discover the Stoic Toolbox. We'll unpack Stoicism's practical tools, like emotional detachment, negative visualization, and self-awareness, designed to fortify your mental fortress. The hidden gems. Ever heard of Amor Fati? No? Well, it's time to embrace your fate, even when it feels like a thunderstorm. We'll explore these lesser-known stoic gems, your emotional GPS. By the end of this video, you'll recalibrate your emotional compass. No more shipwrecks, just smooth sailing. But wait, there's more. Brace yourself for tales of ancient Rome, where Stoics faced emperors, lions, and the abyss. Their wisdom echoes across centuries, and today, it reaches you. So, whether you're battling heartbreak, stress, or that infuriating traffic jam, Stoicism has your back. Buckle up, my fellow seekers of serenity. Grab your mental life jacket. The voyage begins now. Before we talk about the stoic antidote to emotional chaos, let's wade into the turbulent waters of our own feelings. Brace yourself, it's a tempest out there. Emotional reactions, the storm within. Picture this, you're standing at the edge of a cliff, toes curling over the precipice. Your heart races, palms damp. The wind whispers secrets and your emotions, those unruly passengers, Startle awake. Anger surges like a rogue wave, fueled by a co-worker's snide remark. Fear tugs at your ankles, reminding you of past failures. And sadness, it's a relentless undertow, pulling you toward the abyss. What do you do? You leap, impulsively, without a parachute. Your rational mind, lost in the gale. Stoic perspective, the ancient lighthouse. Enter the Stoics, the ancient philosophers who navigated life's storms with the precision of seasoned sailors. They believed emotions were like weather patterns, natural, inevitable, but not always rational. Imagine a thunderstorm brewing, the lightning strikes, that's your emotion. But the Stoic stands under an umbrella of reason. They observe the rain, feel its wetness, yet remain unswayed. Emotions, they said, are guests at our mental inn. They check in uninvited, toss luggage around, and demand room service. But here's the twist. We don't have to serve them gourmet meals. Stoicism taught that emotions like fleeting clouds pass. They're not permanent residents. They're transient visitors. So why let them redecorate our mental chambers? Example, Marcus and the Price Wars. Let's meet Marcus, the over-eager merchant. Picture him in the bustling agora, haggling over spices. His competitor, Lucius, undercuts him. Marcus's emotional dashboard lights up. Anger, envy, wounded pride. His ship of reason, capsizing. He slashes prices, loses profit and storms off, leaving a trail of disgruntled customers. Later, in the quiet of his shop, Marcus realizes the cost, not just dinars, the price of his emotional squall. Lucius, desperate to feed his family. Marcus, a fool driven by tempests. Stoicism whispers, pause, breathe, weigh your emotional cargo before setting sail. Remember, my friend, emotions are like weather patterns, sometimes sunny, sometimes stormy. Stoicism, it's your compass in the chaos. Before we talk about the Stoic Toolkit, imagine this. You're standing on a cliff's edge, toes curling over the precipice. The wind whispers secrets, and your emotions, those unruly passengers, startle awake. Anger surges like a rogue wave, 
fueled by a co-worker's snide remark. Fear tugs at your ankles, reminding you of past failures. And sadness, it's a relentless undertow, pulling you toward the abyss. Now, let's unfurl the stoic sail and navigate these emotional waters, emotional detachment, the art of distance. Imagine emotions as guests at a crowded party. They chatter, spill drinks and demand attention. Stoicism hands you an invisible cloak, a buffer between you and the emotional chaos. It's not cold indifference, it's clarity. When anger knocks, step back. Observe its red-hot flames without getting singed. Emotional detachment isn't aloofness, it's wisdom. So, when life serves you lemons, don't squeeze them into your eyes. Sip the lemonade. Negative visualization, the crystal ball of serenity. Picture this. You're sipping coffee, warm sun on your face. Life's good. Now flip the script. Imagine losing that job, the sun replaced by storm clouds. Your favorite mug shatters. Negative visualization isn't pessimism, it's perspective. By envisioning worst-case scenarios, you appreciate the present. That coffee, suddenly precious. Stoics did this daily, imagined shipwrecks, lost loves, and crumbling empires. Why? To inoculate themselves against life's surprises. So, when the storm hits, you're ready with an umbrella. Self-awareness, the mirror of sanity. Ever react without thinking? We've all been there, snapping at a loved one, hitting send on that fiery email. Stoicism whispers, observe. Like a scientist studying a rare butterfly, watch your emotions unfold. Notice anger's wingspan, fear's delicate antennae. Self-awareness isn't navel-gazing, it's steering your emotional ship. When rage surges, pause, breathe. Ask, why this storm? Maybe it's hunger, lack of sleep, or that unresolved childhood trauma. Then choose your response. Stoics knew. The mirror reflects truth, even if it's not always flattering. Before we talk about the Stoic principles that can transform emotional chaos into inner calm, let's imagine standing on the edge of a cliff. The wind whispers secrets, and your emotions, those unruly passengers, startle awake. Anger surges like a rogue wave, fueled by a co-worker's snide remark. Fear tugs at your ankles, reminding you of past failures. And sadness, it's a relentless undertow, pulling you toward the abyss. Acceptance, surrendering to the cosmic flow. Imagine life as a vast river. Some currents are yours to navigate, the choices you make, the paths you tread. Others, well, they're cosmic rapids beyond your paddle. Stoicism whispers, accept the river's course. Can't control the rain, but you can choose an umbrella. Can't control a colleague's mood, but you can control your reaction. Stoics didn't wrestle with the river. They floated, eyes wide open. Acceptance isn't defeat. It's alignment with the cosmos. Focus on virtue. The north star of the soul picture virtue as a celestial compass. It points true north toward wisdom, courage, justice, temperance. Stoics didn't chase fleeting constellations. They followed virtue's steady glow. Cheat on a test? Seneca raised an eyebrow. Face betrayal? Epictetus nodded, unfazed. Virtue wasn't a distant star. It was their daily navigation. Stoics knew a virtuous life isn't a sprint. It's a marathon of small, noble steps. So, when emotions howled, they asked, what would virtue do? Amor fati. Love your fate. Imagine fate as a capricious artist. She splashes colors, triumphs, tragedies, mundane Mondays. Stoics didn't critique her palette. They embraced it. Amor fati. Love your fate. Not just the sunny hues, but the thunderclouds too. Missed the train. Maybe you met a stranger who changed your life. Lost a job. Perhaps it led you to a hidden passion. Stoicism taught. Fate isn't a dictator. It's a dance partner. Spin with grace. Love the rhythm even when it stumbles. Before we talk about the practical tools that can transform your emotional landscape, imagine waking up to a new day. 
the sun peeking through your curtains, the world stretching its limbs, your emotions, those early Reese's, are already brewing their morning coffee. Some days it's a cappuccino of joy, other days a bitter espresso of anxiety. How can Stoicism help you sip wisely? Morning Reflection, the Emotional Barometer. Imagine your mind as a foggy window. Stoicism hands you a cloth, a morning reflection. As you sip your actual coffee, take a mental sip too. Ask, what's the emotional weather today? Is it stormy resentment or sunny gratitude? Acknowledge the clouds without judgment. Seneca did this, gazing at dawn, pondering life's brevity. Morning reflection isn't a monologue, it's a dialogue with your soul. Hint, set your intention. Today, I choose calmness. Pause and breathe, the emotional speed bump. Picture life as a busy intersection. Emotions are impatient drivers, honking, swerving, tail gutting. Stoicism installs a speed bump, pause. When anger revs its engine, pause, breather, count to three, ask, is this road rage worth it? Stoics did this before responding to insults, before slamming doors. Pause isn't weakness, it's wisdom. So, when life cuts you off, don't chase, let it pass. Hint, breathe deeply, inhale resilience, exhale turmoil, journaling, the emotional compass. Imagine a stoic journal, a ship's log for your inner voyage. Each entry, waves of emotion, gusts of thought. Seneca, Epictetus, they penned their storms. Why? To navigate, try it. A day's end, jot down. Today, anger visited, reason anchored it. Or, fear knocked, courage answered. Journaling isn't a literary masterpiece, it's a compass calibration. When emotions steer you off course, Consult your entries. Stoics knew, ink is a silent mentor. Hint, write honestly. Today, I wrestled with envy. As our Stoic voyage draws to a close, remember this. Emotions need not be our tyrants. They can be our allies. Stoicism isn't about suppressing feelings. It's about steering them. So, when anger knocks, pause. When fear whispers, breathe. And when life serves you storms, dance in the rain. Apply these stoic principles today. Reflect in the morning, pause before reacting, and keep your emotional compass, your journal, close. Let's navigate life's tides together. If this video resonated with you, hit that like button. It's our stoic handshake. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel. We're all fellow sailors on this cosmic sea, seeking wisdom, one wave at a time. Until next time, stay strong, stay stoic, and let the stoic winds transform your life.